I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor at Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota, and I'm glad to be able to spend some moments with you today talking to you about Bible principles. Most people these days are concerned about various things. Many of them have been laid off and they're wondering when they're going to be able to go back to work. And generally, people are concerned about their expenses and their needs being met in this uh, coronavirus crisis pandemic, as it's called. And I'd like for us to co consider just a few promises from the Word of God today and things that we can count on God to do for his children. I hope that you know Jesus Christ as your own personal Savior. And if you don't, you need to turn to the Lord and repent of your sins and turn his, turn your life over to the Lord and believe that he is the only one, that Jesus Christ is the only one who can possibly be your sin sacrifice, therefore the only one who can possibly be your Savior, and he doesn't need any help. As he was dying on the cross, he said, it is finished. He completed the work of salvation completely himself. And he doesn't need any help with that. And there's nothing we can do to complement that work. All he wants us to do is just to receive and trust him by faith for that great salvation that he alone provided and he offers to us. I know that there are people today who are very concerned about various different situations. And we have a lot of folks who have responded to the crisis by uh, stocking up on various items and uh, stockpiling things that they think they're going to need at some point that's not going to be available to them. And uh, that may well be the case. It doesn't seem to be true, uh, being borne out by reality. But people get nervous. People get scared. I think about the Lord's model prayer. It's called the Lord's Prayer. But it's not really the Lord's Prayer. It's a model prayer. It's one that he was using to teach his disciples how to pray. It's not a prayer that Christ would have had to pray himself because forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Christ never sinned. He never did become anyone's debtor by doing wrong. And so he didn't have to pray this prayer himself, but it was something that other people should pray to God and and so it was a model prayer. But one of the elements of this model prayer is found there in Matthew chapter 6, verse 11, where Jesus said, you ask God, this is legitimate, give us this day our daily bread, to ask God for provision, to ask God for things that we need in our daily life. And I know most people in our country, in America, are not concerned about, don't have to be concerned about whether they're going to have food today or not. But whether we're talking about today or later this week or next week or next month or next year, whether our needs will be met, this goes back to a matter of faith and trusting the Lord to provide. And so give us this day our daily bread. I think about some things that occurred later in this same chapter of Matthew 6, where the Lord was talking about to his disciples about, don't, don't be concerned about these things, about basic things of life, like the necessities, food, clothing, and shelter, because your heavenly father knows that you have need of all these things, and he'll provide for you. And then verse 33 of Matthew 6 says, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. And all these things, he's talking about the necessities of life. God will provide for you. God will take care of you. You just put him first in your life. I've often used the illustration of geometry that I learned as a, as a teenager in school. The shortest distance between two points is a straight line. So we have we go from point A to point B, and that's the shortest distance between those two points is that straight line. But the Bible says go to point C first, go from A to C, and that'll be the best way to get to B. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. God will provide for the one who puts him first in their life. I think about an Old Testament verse of scripture, 
Psalm 37, verse 25, where David wrote, I have been young and am old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. And what he's stating there is, I've never seen anybody who was God's child who had to beg, who was forsaken of God, and who just did not have the things that they needed for this life. God will provide daily bread. He'll see to it that his children have the things that they need and will be provided for in the time of need. And may the Lord help you and bless you as you go ahead and and uh, live day by day and trust the Lord that you won't have needs that are unmet. God bless you today.